Cell phone batteries typically only last for about one or two years before you need a replacement. This usually happens when the manufacturer's warranty just gets expired. Is that an inconvenient truth about the life cycle of a cell phone battery, or is it a big conspiracy of these giant larger-than-life corporations? A typical lithium-ion battery pack would last for much longer than that. So why does a phone battery die so quickly? Today I'm going to investigate into this and find out why. In my last video, I talked about using a different way to charge the battery because I wanted to avoid using the phone itself to charge its own battery. This phone has been overcharging my battery and finally it just killed the battery. I can only use the phone down to about 40 to 50 percent and then it just shut down on its own without any warning. Let me demonstrate. 42 percent. Now I'm just gonna unplug it. Shut down. That's it, 42% and shut down. Alright, so the phone just shut down on me. Let's check on the voltage. 3.79, so 3.8 volts. And that's about 60%. And it's still not able to power the phone. Now let's try and turn it on. You see the battery sign? It's completely empty. So I just went ahead and replaced with a new battery. And it's currently being charged by the original iPhone charger. And uh, the battery is currently full at 100%. Now let's check and see what voltage we have on the uh, battery right now. 4.39 volts that's unbelievable maximum you should charge is 4.2 volts this is 4.39 almost 4.4 volts that's amazing it's way overcharged now let's check on the battery voltage when I unplug the cable from the phone 4.28 volts, 4.29 volts, that's almost 4.3 volts, that's way overcharged and I already unplugged the cable from the phone. On the original iPhone battery, it also has a BMS that controls the charge to the battery. When I installed this battery about 9 months ago, I used the BMS from the original iPhone battery. All of the parts were from the original iPhone. So clearly, this battery is deliberately being overcharged by this iPhone. A lithium-ion battery cell has a very strict operating voltage from 3 to 4.2 volts. If it's discharged less than 3 volts, it's bad for the battery. If it's charged for more than 4.2 volts, it's also bad for the battery. For the battery to last a long time, you should not even charge it to full 4.2 volts. It's best to charge it to only about 4 to 4.1 volts. This battery has been overcharged up to almost 4.3 volts. When plugged in, it gets almost up to 4.4 volts. Most of us have to charge our phones every day and within just one year, you already have done over 300 cycles. With so many cycles of being overcharged, no wonder why it dies so quickly. This is what we call planned obsolescence. This is to keep the battery to operate up to a certain point, usually within the manufacturer's warranty time frame. Once the warranty period is over, this overcharging scheme is taking its toll on the battery. They are very clever in this though, by just overcharging the battery just a little bit and not too much, it doesn't kill the battery right away. Otherwise there will be a massive recall and will not be good for the company. It takes a while to kill the battery this way and it will let the battery operate long enough so that when the warranty period is just expired, it dies. So at this point, I'm not going to trust the phone's original BMS to charge my battery anymore. I have installed a TP4056 board on the back of my phone to charge my battery. I'm using a second case on the back of my phone to house this battery. And there's a little bit of room enough for me to squeeze this in. So this board is going to be the battery's BMS and not the phone itself. 
I can still use the phone's original BMS to charge the battery, but I'm going to charge it up to 90% max. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.